Well, some of the top men's and women's beach volleyball players in the world are here in Chicago this weekend for the AVP's Chicago Open. I chatted with one of the defending champs who's closing out a great career. This event is one of the players' favorites. This beach is iconic with a lot of legends of the game. And, and uh, for me, it's just exciting to be here, especially, I would say, because of us uh, you know, winning it last year. The city is so rad during the summer that you know, whether you play well or not, you're just excited to be here. How was it winning last year? Yeah, uh, winning last year was amazing because uh, Chase Budinger and I were in uh, all three finals. I just was bummed my family wasn't here. But besides that, it was like all time. Are they here this time or no? No, they're not. I just had a fifth baby, so I just keep oh, putting myself goodness. in a tough spot. Yeah. <laughs> how do you balance that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's one of those things where everyone's like, well, how do you do it? And I'm like, to be honest, I don't even know while I'm doing it how I'm still making it happen, you know? <laughs> so it's good, though. It, being a parent is very similar to being, uh, you know, an athlete where you can't control a lot of things that are going on. And so you just got to be like mentally tough and go with the <laughs> flow and deal with whatever's in front of you. So it's uh, it's fun. And what's this whole journey been like for you? And what is it like sort of as you know, you're not coming towards the end of it? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Think about like all the years past traveling and all the events played. Uh, it's very special now because I was just we were just in Manhattan Beach and uh, my oldest of five, the two boys are 13 and 11, and now they love volleyball. And so now they're volunteering to like be a ball boy on our court. And so for me, it's a real like nostalgic moment. So what's next for you after this? You know what? I think uh, I'm pretty hardcore into pickleball right now because you feel like you're 21 <laughs> nice. years old. I'm not lying. I've played probably three hours every day. So I think that might be the like the transition so I don't get so sad about not playing volleyball. I have something fun to go like play, you know. I think we have a tournament going on this weekend here if you we, want to head you over do. there. Yeah. You do. Yeah, it's just up. It's just like what? Like in like 30 minutes away yeah, or something right, right. Up, the, up the coast. I know. I'm like tempted. I played in an APP <laughs> event uh, a few weeks ago, too. So things go well and that tournament's still going. I'll probably shoot over there and go watch that. And finally, as you know, as we talk about getting towards the end of your career, this, you know, this is probably a difficult question, but is, is there a moment, is there something that, that stands out throughout this, this whole journey? To be honest, it was this moment last year when in Chicago um, after COVID had hit and we had kind of like two years off where we didn't get a lot of action. And, you know, a lot of us athletes and a lot of people just in general kind of lost our identity for a little bit because things, so many things were taken away. So then to be able to have it come back and then be able to win uh, in the last gold series of the year and have it be so special. It was a real magical moment for me, and that's something that I'll remember forever. Yeah, Casey Patterson picked that moment over some other great accomplishments in his career, like playing in the 2016 Olympics. General admission is free to the event at Oak Street Beach, running from 9 to 6 today through Sunday. Wow. And a great showcase for the city, too. Very much so. Right. Skyline shots. Yes, exactly. And he mentioned pickleball. That's going on up in Highland I mean, Park this weekend, too. Who isn't so. talking about pickleball right, <laughs> right. now? And he has five kids. <laughs> and five kids and still the playing. Time. I don't I get it. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Matt.